we've got our work area cleaned up a little bit. You want to have it clean and organized, but you don't have to have clean room clean. We're not doing heart surgery or brain surgery here. Parts laid out so they're easy to reach. Make sure when you took it apart, you took it apart in order and you bagged and tagged everything so you know right where it goes. Make sure all your tools you can get to and your manual. Very important. And if I remember correctly, we are going to uh, be working with this case out first. And oh shit, we've got a bent stud right here, so we'll pull that out. We don't need that. I'll just get in our way for now. And we'll set this aside. Okay, we're going to install the shift, uh, what do we call it? The shift selector. That's this piece right here. And it goes in the transfer case this way. It goes in that hole right there. If you can see that. You've got a couple of plungers. And a plunger here, we'll put that in. So first, uh, we go ahead, take this piece like this, carefully slide it in. Relax this piece, click, it goes right in. You should have that right oriented right there. When we put it in, the plunger is going to come into this little notch right here. That plunger assembly consists of this component right here, this plug looking thing. It has no ring on it, a spring, and this little bullet looking thing. So tip this back a little bit so I can get to it. Slide that up in there, making sure it's engaged into that notch like I mentioned earlier. Push against the spring, make sure you don't cross thread it, it's aluminum, and tighten it down. Get hand tight, 7 8 wrench, supposed to be oriented in there. And that's all there is to it. Okay, now we're on the other side of the case where the shift selector came through the housing. A couple of parts we got to put in there. First is an O-ring, and we're replacing this one with a new one. It just goes right around there, slides in. I'm just using my thumbnail to Press it in there. I want that to be a nice tight fit so we get no leakage. Leaks are bad. What's the point in putting it all together if you're going to have to take it apart to replace one stupid little seal? And push on it gently. Get it going in there. Urethane bushings next. This goes on. And I should just be able to work that down in there with my thumbnail. Maybe grab. Small pick. Help me push on it just a little bit. There it goes. Now I can feel it pushing in there. <laughs> it's a bunch of little small parts. Okay. We've got this piece seated in fully. Now, this component goes on. This actuates your shift uh, range selector from your lever inside uh, your car. Very important how it's orientated. See it slotted. Goes on right there. Just like that. Numbers on the outside of the case facing this way upside down. Simple washer. Actually backwards. There we go. And we put this nut on. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put this nut on fully and tighten it down just in case I have to adjust things when I'm out of the car reinstalling the case. So, that's good enough for now. And if you come over to the front side of the case, and I grab this piece, and I pull on it, or push on it, you can see, it moves. And that's what changes your gears. Just like that. I probably squirt a little ATF on there to lubricate that so we don't scar the pieces. But that's it. Move on to the next step. Okay, now we're going to put in this planetary gear set. 
and it's kind of a pain in the butt. There's a lot of wiggling involved. Goes in like this. See the ring gear, planetary gears, bearing. Goes right in here. And you just carefully slide it in there, the gears mesh. And you have to wiggle it. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And you don't beat on this with a hammer. See, there she goes. She's starting to go in. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And she's all the way in. Just like that. And then, if you've got it all the way in, you'll know. Because, that's heavy. There's a snap ring that goes right there. And you have to be able to fully seat the snap ring in this groove on this side to hold this assembly in place. And I'm just wiggling it. Spin it slowly. Feels good. A little crunchy noise because the bearings are a little dry and I'm not going to spin them a whole bunch. I will pre loop everything with ATF before I fire it up. So that's it for the planetary. Okay, now that we've got the overdrive gear, or this isn't really the overdrive, well, we got these gears in, screw it. Now we're going to put this thing in. And I'm not going to do it right in front of you because it's a pain in the butt, but I'm going to tell you how to do it real quick. Set my beer over here. This is a big snap ring. What you want to do, you want to orientate it into a position where you have the most room to work. Get one side started. So what I'm going to do is rotate that. Get one side started, take a screwdriver, press it up in where it needs to be, and then you will go around, you may need two screwdrivers or a buddy or another set of hands, and you're just going to work this snap ring in all the way around. And once it's seated all the way in, you'll hear a loud click, and you're done. So, I think we'll take some still photos of it, but I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Good times. Damn Budweiser.